Hey guys, the hair and makeup is done, so I had to get the long sleeve tee to kind of offset the extraness of this morning. Don't expect a full beat every video. I was just feeling inspired. The light was streaming in my room early in the morning, which I never catch because I never wake up early. So we're making some changes in our life. Um, and I'll tell you more about that soon. But first, I'm going to plug in my Instagram and Twitter on the side here the little snapshot since that's what the kids are doing these days. So speaking of Instagram and Twitter, hey, hi, I've decided to come to you and talk about hiatuses and procrastination once again. I've done a video like this once before on my channel years ago. Um, if you're really OG, you'll, you'll remember it. It was about procrastination, but it had to do with academics. This is going to be a little bit different. Also, that video is private, so don't even bother to go find it. It's, it's not. It's not there. Sorry, we're not doing that. We're focusing on the future instead of the past. And yeah, because my videos were very cringy in the past. I even have a witness. It was not a good look. Oh, I need to stop playing with my hair. Anyway, yeah. I really like this hair, by the way. It looks really cute on me. Um, these ends are not it, but in any case, we moving on. Procrastination. Hi. So before I said I was talking about academics, academic procrastination, you know, essays, assignments, projects, all that good stuff, and how that bad habit has found me in my early adulthood um, with social media. Huh. What's the correlation, you may ask? Um, yeah. So I consider myself to be a creative. I get on here, I make videos, I like making things, I edit them, I upload them. I draw sometimes, or at least I used to, a lot. Loved art, I loved music. It was it was a good time in my adolescence, okay? And that's when there was no none of this pressure, the social pressure that we have nowadays to look perfect all of the time, which, whew! got to me it really got to me um I think I posted the least amount on social media Instagram Twitter especially like the least last year and obviously we're in a pandemic right now so there's nowhere I could really go to take pictures because I'm usually on location <laughs> on location.com that's my blog I'll link that below we're usually on, my, on location when I am posting something on my Instagram for like an outfit or something because my area around me is like boring as hell. So I kind of, um, I guess, depended on the fact that I could go to really cool places to like take photos. But then again, I'm lazy as well and I barely do that. But last year it was, it was bad. I, with, I feel like a lot of people too just kind of abandoned Instagram last year. I feel like I was on Twitter more so than I was there on Instagram. Obviously because hmm, the changes Instagram has done was its downfall. And I will say was because it's in its downfall right now. This happened around the time I got like 1k on Instagram which was like late last year. Not last last year. 2020 don't count. When I say last year just th say, pretend I'm talking about 2019 because we, it was on pause. We're not doing anything. <laughs> so yeah, 2019. And that's when Instagram started changing up and becoming more about that shmoney and less about everything that was good about it. Um, the layout got changed now. We have Reels now, which is competing with TikTok. They have a shopping app which I never use and I refuse to use. And again, like most people, I barely see any of the people I actually know that I follow on there. It's usually only the influencers and the celebrities that are coming up to the top of my feed. And it was not doing it for me. Like I love seeing creatives do like creative stuff. Like it can obviously hype me up to create more on my own and like obviously inspire me, but that was the problem. It wasn't doing that. It was doing the opposite. It was making me feel like my art wasn't good enough. It was making me feel like I wasn't pretty enough. And it really just made me feel like I, there was no point to me doing any sort of art because I just saw people who were doing it much better than me and a lot more successful at it in real time. 
and being in a pandemic you lost your plans for that year um, I was lucky I was luckily able to leave the country last year it was like really early in the year before lockdown and everything was like confirmed to like be a whole pandemic but I had plans I was supposed to go to Korea and Japan last year and I was looking forward to it because I had around like two and a half jobs in 2019 just to save up enough money for this trip to these two places that I wanted to go to for such a long time. Um, Japan more so than Korea. Korea was more recent but like huh, like I was gonna spend my 25th having gone to like two new countries in a whole new continent that I've never been in and that just died and then I just saw like everyone else seemed like they were doing fine I guess when all my plans and everything was crumbling around me I'm doing this for Korea and Japan Korea and Japan like it's gonna be my 25th like I'm gonna go travel I'm gonna learn more about culture and food I'm gonna meet new people I'm gonna become more than I am now just sitting at home where I am and that just did not that did not happen and going on Instagram and seeing people still be creative pumping out content every day just being talented as heck being super beautiful which again that is something that nobody can that's something that people can't really change is how beautiful they are but I would see that too and then just tied with how talented they were if, whether it was makeup whether it was art whether it was editing whether it was photography like just all of those things were in my face all the time and I feel like it was just taunting me you see how you're stuck at home and you should be productive and doing things look at all these people online who are getting their ish together and they're creating and they're not letting this pandemic this pandemic stop them and this all this very very negative energy was reaching me I was in a very negative headspace and it was getting to me really bad to the point where I did not find joy in opening up the Instagram app anymore. I would just compare my posts, my page, my art, my blood, sweat, and tears and creativity to other people's when I have no background as to how they even made their content in the first place. But I always made up something in my head like it was probably so easy for them and they can do content every day and this is so simple for them and this person's so naturally beautiful. No wonder they're getting all of the successes that they are. No wonder they're reaching for the stars. No wonder they're getting like all of their accolades is because I'm lazy as hell and I'm not doing enough which is a lie I had two and a half jobs in 2019 I was not lazy <laughs> okay I just tricked my brain into thinking I was because I was on social media all the time seeing people be better than me and that was not helping um, so yeah that's why I'm here now I mean I can't really say anything I mean I guess it was kind of the same for YouTube too because a lot more people were making videos and stuff um, and people who just got channels that blew who people who just created channels last year are like blowing up now and as someone who's been on this platform for a really really long time that can get kind of discouraging so I ran away from YouTube and I closed Instagram and I just started reading webtoons for like all of 2020 and just kind of reclused into fantasy which is what I used to do when I was younger with like YA novels but now it's just webtoons I think I just switched them out because <laughs> I you saw my videos from before I'm reading and we are not there yet we're getting there not there yet but yeah um it was just really discouraging to see all the time and as someone who is so proud to be like a creative and is so happy when people like praise my work and things like that also <laughs> positive reinforcement I need to stop wanting and craving and needing it I need to be able to be confident in my own creativity and be confident in my own skills and talent that I will be able to do what I see other people doing maybe not at their level yet maybe not with the financial gain or with the help that they have or the equipment that they have but I can make something of my own and I just think I need to remind myself of that like my content is good too like my shit is kind of I should kind of pops off which is you know how you kind of got to this look today um I really love graphic liner which is I think the easiest type of liner like it's it's so easy to get like a really 
looking look, like a very editorial look with just like a couple of lines on your face. And that's beautiful to me because I love line art. I love line art so much that I never colored in any of my art when I was drawing 24 seven even. Like I hated color. I loved thick lines. I like thin lines. I like details, but I, I don't ask me to color anything in. Don't ask me to shade. Yeah, shading was not my best friend at all. So I kind of just stuck to line art, which was my bread and butter, my black and white photo, or my black and white art, like that was my thing. When Euphoria blew up, which is HBO's wonderful and also controversial show blew up and they had all their makeup looks with which was just like line art which is just drawing on your lids like that was that was it I knew that was for me that was my lane um, so yeah I was really scared to step in it because when the trends blew up I saw on the top of my Instagram feed all of the creators that I follow and all of the beautiful, wonderful people, talented as heck that I know at art, were creating that same graphic liner makeup that I wanted to do and I got discouraged again. Which doesn't make sense. Like I'm acting like I've never done art before, I've never picked up a brush, like that's a lie. I've always said that I wanted to get into makeup more when I started transitioning out of um, sketching and drawing and doing line art a lot more. Makeup was something that I wanted to kind of transition that into so I wouldn't lose that love of artistry and I psyched myself out. Again, it really be your own self like <laughs> the fuck? I mean look at this like obviously I can do it like I don't it's really hard to get out of that mind space once you've gone into it. It's like you're addicted to telling yourself no. It's like you're addicted to telling yourself you can't do this so that you know you can be kind of content in the fact that hey there will be no pressure on me. I won't have people judging me all the time. Again that's the second thing with Instagram I had to put it down. I would post where I feel like this is universal but I would upload a photo and like turn off the app, put my phone on airplane mode, and throw my phone into the corner of my room and just hide. Like I did not want to see any comments, I didn't want to see how many likes I got, I still don't. I have the notifications turned off on my Instagram for that reason. Even though I couldn't see anyone else's anymore since Instagram made that change to not see anybody else's likes, it only works some of the time. Like sometimes I can see it and sometimes I don't, but again, good move on Instagram. Probably the only good move that they've done in recent years on that app, but yeah. Um, that was bad. I was getting anxious by posting my own content on my own page. Like, why? Like, it's, it's not like anyone's ever bullied me for anything that I put up on there. It's not like anyone has told me that my, my looks are bad or that my outfits are ugly. Like, it was all just in my head. Like, I didn't want to be compared to other people. Like, I did not want to be perceived at all for any type of scrutiny. And it was just not doing well for my mental health because I need to create things in order to get serotonin in my brain. <laughs> Um, to be able to invest myself into just my creative mindset is just so freeing and I've just stopped myself from doing that so many times out of this fear that I've created all by myself in my head due to seeing other people do things that I love and that is not it. I need to be able to separate their art from mine and be content with the fact that my art and my work is not gonna look like theirs. It was never something I was worried about when I was younger. When I made art, I just created it for myself. So I'm trying to bring that mindset back, you know? Um, and I feel like that was something I can learn from my past as well. That was like really positive and I don't know why I left that there. Capitalism uh, fucked up what was actually important to me in my life <laughs> and told me that I had to hustle and make money off of any and all hobbies and creativity in order to be happy, which is not true at all. So yeah, um, screw that. I'm back. I'm better than ever. I'm gonna be doing makeup. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing looks on this channel. I'm probably just gonna use YouTube for 
more serious topics that I haven't covered and story times. I want to get back into story times as well because I, again, with the whole mindset, I just thought I became boring all of a sudden, which is also a lie. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try to move away from makeup and fashion because I feel like I was using it as a crutch so I wouldn't have to actually engage and talk with anyone and share my opinions so that no one can tell me that I'm wrong. But now, I don't care. Like, I can't care about that and be on YouTube at the same time because then fashion and makeup on here will be something that I also hate doing and I'm not gonna do that to myself. So, yeah. We're turning a new leaf this year, 2021. Um, we're still inside, it's still quarantine, but the mindset, the mindset has changed, okay? We may be inside now in the box, but my mind is outside the box, in the corner waiting to be free. A little birdie, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna free my mind and the rest will follow. Yeah, more cooking videos because I've been cooking a lot more lately and exercising more which I've been loving too, and I literally have barely cook, and I haven't done exercise since high school. So yeah, we're getting back into the good old habits that I used to have, and we're kind of blending it in with the, the future self that I want to create for me, and try to give myself some purpose. <laughs> so I, don't feel like everything in my life is ruined just because I had to postpone two trips. I mean, I'll take them eventually. I'll get to Korea and Japan, but I need to be able to um, fulfill myself now or it won't really matter, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's me. Ooh, I haven't really touched too much on Twitter. Honestly, I'm on there more than I'm on Instagram. I feel like it's easier to post photos on Twitter and everything else on there just because you just type dumb shit and send it into the app like nothing matters so yeah also I might I might go back to tumblr tumblr was a lot better than I gave it credit for so we might go back there one day I hope you guys like this little sit down chat with me uh, yeah, this will be a weekly event so get ready stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time Bye guys.